Okay, to start we just want to get a dark blue pastel and do the circle of the apple and a smiley face. And now I'm just flicking up some lines from the bottom, um, just starting to shape the apple. Now I'm going to come through with my darkest red and go over the lines that we've done with the dark blue and just building up the base of the apple with that dark red remembering the direction of the lines because this will shape the apple later on. Now I'm using a orangey red pastel and building up over that dark red. Again uh, making sure we are going in the same direction with the lines as this will build it up and just tidying up the edges. And now I'm coming through with a light green and just dragging the green down from the top rather from the, than the bottom. And now I've got yellow ochre, and again I'm just building that up from the, the top rather than the bottom. If we work this from the bottom, um, our apple might go orange. So we just want to just get a bit of yellow around the top of that apple. Now I'm coming through with just yellow, not yellow ochre. And again, just building up over top of that yellow ochre trying not to go over too much of the red and if there's any wet, any bits you need to tidy up I'm just using my dark red to build up the colour down the bottom there just any white bits that are showing through that need to be tidied up so now I've got the white there's always a bit of light hitting the top of the apple um, so with the white we're following the same direction to shape the apple and just rubbing that along that top rim and just coming down into the yellow and green just to show a bit of light hitting on top of the apple there and smoothing the colours. So now I've got the dark blue again um, just to do the base colour of the stalk and a leaf and I'm coming over with dark brown and a peachy shade just to give a bit of highlight on that stalk. Now I've got dark green just over the outline of that um, leaf and light green and now I want to put the um, apple on a table so I'm just drawing a line either side and then I want to do the shadow of the apple and then just lightly shading that in now I'm coming back with dark brown to go along that dark edge and shading over the shadow and around the apple to give it the a look of a wooden table. And now I've got light brown pastel uh, just running over that dark brown to build up the colours and now I'm coming back with a peachy shade. Now this is the blending colour as well so we want to push a little bit of bit harder with this colour just to blend the dark brown and the light brown together and fill in any white areas. So you do want to push a little bit harder with this colour and just filling it in there. And then I'm just coming back with the dark red and just um, coming around the base of that apple again. And there we have it, how to pastel an apple. So if you'd like to try any more of these classes, please check out my website to see what's on offer.